the sample results have declined. Uh, it might have been small, a small amount, but basically we still see a decline to the point that all three uh, parties are in agreement that uh, we need to try to get to the refuse chambers as we talked earlier. So the, the plan is for two teams to go underground and to visit both of those refuse chambers. After visiting the refuse chamber in 22 Longwall, if for some reason or if it's not been expanded, meaning no one got to it, that we, we will try to get to the face area and try to account for those three individuals. After that is done, nitrogen is going to be pumped into the 22 long wall borehole number one. That's to ensure that we have an inert atmosphere and we wouldn't be chased out in case the barometer begins to drop and we have an explosive mixture again. Simultaneously with all this going on, uh, a recovery plan is being put together. It will be signed by all three parties, and the intent is for the recovery teams to enter the mine in the same time frame and begin uh, uh, removing the bodies from the long wall and the areas near the long wall. After we're sure that there's no, after, after we're sure there's no explosive mixtures in long wall 22, because of the inert uh, or nitrogen being pumped in, that nitrogen will then be sucked out of the mine in the back end, and then uh, the rescue teams will be able to go open face into Longwall 22 and recover those bodies as well. 